Hi everybody, this is a special video that we're making for our Seasons of Service students. Um, that's why you have this extra video to watch. So again, if you're a member of our Seasons of Service program, that means that every season we're going to provide you with a kit and some projects to do to think about that season. So the Kids Helping Kids uh, service kit helps children. Most of those beneficiaries of those projects, all the beneficiaries are children. Uh, but we thought for the extra projects that you're going to do for this season, we thought it might be kind of timely to think about Thanksgiving. You know, it is November and Thanksgiving happens this month. And that's a time when, as you know, we get together with family and we all have a nice meal together. And, you know, we have to really think about the fact that there's many families that don't have that opportunity. Uh, there's many individuals out there and, you know, they're living in homeless shelters and some of them are living in, um, you know, just not in a situation where they can provide a really big Thanksgiving meal. And sometimes there's people that are just a little food insecure, and that means they're just having some trouble right now. They might have one, uh, one person in the household might have lost their job, and they might need a little bit of help to have that nice Thanksgiving meal. So our projects are actually not going to provide anything for the Thanksgiving meal specifically, but we were kind of thinking about the fact that they just have a little bit of food insecurity and maybe we can give them a nice lunch or something to help them out, a snack one day this month. And we can really be thinking of the fact that we're thankful for our friends and family and we're thankful to be able to provide this to the families in need. So this again is our little lunch bag where you're gonna color the label and you're going to, I'm sorry about that. You're gonna color the label and you're gonna fill the bag with this nice project. You're gonna have a granola bar. This is a nice um, tuna or chicken salad pack with crackers. You have nice fig cookies. You have a spoon and napkin to use with your applesauce. And you've got a nice card to spread some kindness. And I just wanted to um, mention a little bit, you know, now we know that we're helping people, but I thought for the lesson today, learning about a soup kitchen that's in Norristown might be a really nice lesson. Um, you know, the Cecil and Grace Bean Soup Kitchen is a really special place. Um, this soup kitchen was opened in 1979, and it was opened by a woman named Grace Bean. And she decided to help those who were really in need of getting a meal because they were hungry. So with her husband, Cecil, she decided to work and build a soup kitchen. And she worked long and hard and she worked every day of the week. And she worked, she lived to be 98 years old and she probably worked um, almost right up until the end, except for maybe the last couple years of her life. She was working at this soup kitchen and she was working with people in need, handing it out and she would talk to the people while they were eating. So we gave you um, this little information sheet about Grace Bean and it's really worth taking a look at um, because she really did a lot. It says here that they serve about 700 meals a week. Think about that. That's a lot of meals to help people. And there's a lot of soup kitchens out there that do, that do serve quite a few meals. But um, Doris and I actually both did know Grace Bean and she was a really special lady. So we thought that it was worth telling you about her and giving you some facts about her. And, you know, something else that you can do, and this is just an idea for you, but you can always grab a bag, um, any kind of paper bag that you have in your house, and you can decorate it and draw pictures, and maybe you can collect a few cans. Maybe there's some cans of soup or some box of rice or a box of pasta, and you can always make that donation to a soup kitchen this month to try to help families out with their Thanksgiving meal. So if you do make these and you'd like to bring the bags to us, we'll be happy to get those bags distributed for you. That's just a little extra bonus idea for you of something extra to do. So with that said, I just want to um, wish you guys a great Thanksgiving if we don't talk to you. And we're looking forward to getting all of your projects back. Let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.